Yo, if you can hear me in the chat, you know, go ahead, drop a line if you're viewing. If not, then it's all good. It's just a pre-show. Just going to stay there for a little bit till we kick off at 3 or 4 Eastern. Pre-show tangs, pre-show tangs. Yeah, we big early, bro. We just, you know, pre-show stuff so I can kind of bullshit with y'all for a little bit before, you know, we jump in. It's all good. We ain't thick yet, but, you know, people going to either be in or they be out. This is one you don't want to miss. Will we see JT Money make an appearance? Where down on the street is? He got he was out of the hospital. <laughs> we gonna see. Start those SCW chants, man. Get them going, get them popping. Hopefully I ain't sneezing. <laughs> you know, you 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 father of the year material right there, my boy. Father of the year material. You know what I'm saying? But we gonna be there. I appreciate y'all boys for popping in, you know. Everybody got a match. What one match uh what matches y'all looking forward to? Like, I'ma just I'll be up front. The one match I'm looking forward to myself is actually this one. This match I hope carries could carry over. Uh the Syndicate Strong Style match. I hope this match carries on into the group or into the into the SCW. I hope it's uh I hope it carries over because this no pinfalls, only submissions and knockouts. That's it. None. Yeah, I've I've tested it a few times and I'm going to tell you all now. It's it's kind of wild. Yeah, this this card is stacked, man. This this card is mad stacked. Yeah, this card is going to be mad stacked today. And it's crazy cuz like It's crazy cuz I mean, y'all want to preview something real quick. I may have to make some moves. I you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to let the game be the game and I'll make the moves after because I don't want the game to mess up because right now we got the tag match which I have to matter of fact I just realized let me go ahead and edit let me go ahead and edit these matches real quick because I just realized the tag match is not for the title let me set that up right now all right so again these are the match cards. Yeah, so now it looks better. Now we got the now we got the, the official card going. This this table match might be a good one too. I high key, because I'm interested in what Dr. Antonio Hurt's going to end up doing because, you know, he can't win this match via submission. So it's going to be very interesting. And Hannibal being the high flyer he is, oh, we got to just jump through a motherfucking table. There you go. 
We are gonna see. This one, I want to look forward to this one, but I'm gonna just be real with y'all. I have no doubt in my mind that Jay Omega is probably gonna beat the shit out of Kevin Youngblood. Like no doubt in my mind that uh, he gonna get his ass whooped. It's funny, just just a little peek behind the curtain. I've ran this match several times just to kind of see how it would play out. And uh oof. <laughs> it's it's it is it never looks good for Kevin Youngblood, like at all. Never looked good for Kevin Youngblood. Uh and then also we're gonna have three stages of hell. Uh world title match between two bitter rivals, Sebastian and Joe West. The first stage of hell is uh, a Duval street fight, courtesy of my man Joe West. Pinfalls can happen anywhere. Um, no rules, no count outs, none of that. None of that. And then, but if the thing is, if you've never watched the three stages of hell match, it's three matches. It's best two out of three. However, you know, after you win the set, if if it's a clean sweep, there's no room for a third match. But the second match in the stages of hell is a heaven in a cell match, uh, courtesy of Sebastian. And the winner of that, if both if both men win a match in those in that match card, if they split, then the third match, if we need a third match, it will be a TLC. And that's if that's if that happens, you know. Look at this man. I mean, yo, what up? What's up? What up, Gems? What up, Pat? What up, Spin? Spin, it didn't start too early. That's because you know people actually like to sit there and do things. You know, I I like to talk to y'all beforehand before I got to get into announcer mode. You know what I'm saying? We 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 getting there, but we gonna be there. But this 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 shit this actually this card actually might be insane, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I'm very excited. But uh, I'm gonna pause the stream real quick. We gonna get out here and we gonna start. Give me a second. All right, let's get this show on the road, baby. Y'all ready? Here we go. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, do not adjust your Twitch streams. You are live here watching Syndicate Championship Wrestling. And Syndicate Championship Wrestling presents to you Cradle to the Grave. I am your hostess with the mostest Shaggy Black. And we are here live today on this Saturday. 
bringing you hardcore wrestling that you've never seen with this annual Halloween pay-per-view ready to go down. And holy hell, we have a hell of a show for you today, folks. Our opening contest of the evening will be for the SCW Tag Team Championship. It will be the team of the Nightmare Connection, Landon Kelly and Alex Perez taking on the SCW Tag Champs, The Awakening, Angel, and the main event himself, James Lee. Again, folks, thank you all for tuning in. I tell you, I am very excited for this card. This this may go down as one of the best cards we've had here in SCW. And we're going to be starting it off hot. Thank you all that's in the chat participating. Get them SCW chants going. We need that going. We got to get it popping because we may have new tag team champions off rip. But who knows? Let's get down to the ring. Looks like the Nightmare Connection are coming out first. Decked out in purple, ready to go. Alex Perez, Landon Kelly, the boys. The following contest is a tag team extreme rules match and is for the tag team championship. At a combined weight of 457 pounds, the Brotherhood. Now, for those who may have missed it, the reason why the Nightmare Connection are getting an opportunity to get a chance to win those SCW Tag Team Championship title belts is because Landon Kelly defeated James Lee one-on-one -on -one in a match to determine who can challenge for the other person's belt. And if obviously if Landon Kelly lost, this match would be different as it would be James Lee challenging Landon Kelly for the television championship. But Landon prevailed with one melatonin shot, putting James Lee down. And now we are seeing the Nightmare Connection taking their chances at a tag team title shot. But will they be victorious? Will they be victorious because our tag champs are tag champs for a reason? At a combined weight of 467 pounds, they are the tag team champions, the Alliance. The Awakening making their way down to the ring to defend those SCW Tag Team Champions against the same group that they defeated to win those belts. Them decked out in the white and gold. The main event, James Lee and the Black Dragon. Angel in the ring getting ready to defend those belts. But this is not your traditional tag team match, folks. No siree. This is is a tornado tag extreme rules and that's and that is what it's all for folks the tag team championship all four men in the ring former SCW champ SCW tag champs against the current SCW tag champs this match is going to be one hell of a match. As you see James Lee and Angel passing on those belts. Adrian Angel and James Lee may be the last time they see those tag champs, or will they keep those belts around them 
around their waist. But none of that matters because here goes the bell, and here we go. All four men are going at it. James Lee went directly for Landon Kelly, and both their partners are trying to get it going, and there it is. I'm going to try to call this match as much as I can because the pandemonium is going to be crazy. Bodies will be everywhere. Like I said, there is no tags. This is a straight-up tornado tag. Anything goes. No countouts. That means that the Awakening cannot win this belt via countout. As you see, Angel hitting Alex Perez with a knee shot. But James Lee putting work into Landon Kelly. Goes for a pinfall. It didn't get it. And again, those two have met each other. Have met each other, and Landon has come out on top. But Alex Perez, Alex Perez, and Angel also not also not unfamiliar with each other. These two have had a banger of a match back when Angel donned the mask as Triple A. But now, since removing that mask, Angel is taking full advantage of taking down Alex Perez. And we see Landon Kelly already on the outside. Neckbreaker from that. And Alex Perez could be down, but he'd kick out at one. Landon Kelly had a chair. Decided to, against his better judgment. That may come back to bite him. And I want to bring I want to bring this up too, folks. Alex Perez is not just called death proof for a reason. He was also known as a death match champion. Reigning in his days of going in Japan earlier days of WGW death matches were his thing and with this being an extreme rules match or tornado anything goes this you may be in Alex Perez's element but Angel is saying enough of that and trying to keep that in the ring but James Lee James Lee and Angel are dominating so far with the nightmare connection and ladies and gentlemen, this isn't the only match that the Nightmare Connection will be represented in. As later this evening, you will see Nightmare Connection member Ray Rush go up against it. We got a pinfall. You'll see Nightmare Connection Ray Rush, Nightmare Connection member Ray Rush go up against newcomer Leo Simmons and a first ever Syndicate Strong Style match. And that, ladies and gentlemen, that match is going to be interesting. Details about that match when it comes up later. Also, you will see the leader of the Nightmare Connection, Kevin Youngblood, taking on his bitter rival, Jay Omega, in a last man standing match. All members of the Nightmare Connection will be doing work. But as of right now, it seems like they're getting worked against the Awakening. And it looks like Angel is trying to. He's got Land, he's got Landon set up. Shots to the shots to the kidney. But Alex Perez, Alex Perez, mind you, like I said before, Hardcore is in his element, and you saw he brought the table into the ring. I don't know what his plans are for that table, or who's going to use that table first. But I also want to bring this up to you. We do have a tables match later in this card as well. As you will see, see Hannibal taking on Dr. Antonio Hurt in a tables match later this evening. You see James Lee is taking it to Alex Perez here. And Landon Kelly goes going for another weapon. Looks like he's got a kendo stick. And he just throws it down. This is not the only time he's gone for a weapon and not and just decided better against it. And has not used it. Landon Kelly always wasn't a bright one. And now Alex Perez going under the tape, going under the ring again, and he pulled out a ladder. Alex knocking James Lee on the ground. We are seeing every weapon represented here. Will they get used outside of that ladder? I have no idea. But none of this. Holds none of this will be very great. None of this will be good for Alex Perez. As you see, he gets dropped on his back on the outside, and James Lee just gets tossed on his back too. Alex Perez going for an arm breaker on the outside. Meanwhile, you see James 
Lee trying to recover, but Landon Kelly and Angel are getting back in the ring, and Alex just hits James Lee with the table. Oh, knee strike! And Alex is beating James Lee with a chair. Chair shot after chair shot. The back in the ring. Adrian Angel applying work to Landon Kelly, the television champion. Again, folks, there is no rules, no count outs. This is a tornado tag. No tags need to be mentioned. Anyone can be pinned. And ain't Angel setting up in the corner. Oh my God, what a chair shot. And the knee, knee strike from Angel. Angel goes for the pin. One, two, kick out at two. Oh my God. Look on the outside. The outside and Landon Kelly taking down Angel. James Lee back inside the ring. He comes back out inside of the ring, throwing Alex back in there. It's like he forgot something. And what's, what's Landon Kelly doing? Oh, my God. Bad dreams. Bad dreams, Cutter. We got a pinfall. And Landon putting his feet on the ropes. One. No. Kick out. No, not even a one count. Landon thought that was it. Landon throwing Angel in the corner. Oh, what a DDT from James Lee. Landon could be bleeding. Like I said, James Lee is putting work against Alex Perez. And Alex, oh, Alex with those quick strikes to James Lee. And Landon Kelly, oh, with a sledgehammer to the gut. My goodness. And Angel just and just gets up from it. Like he just ate that, that, that shot from the sledgehammer and did nothing. And again. Again, the awakening coming out on top. As you see James Lee taking it to Alex Perez and landing on the outside. James Lee throwing Alex into the corner. We could see this measuring stick. Measuring stick delivered. And now James Lee goes for the pin. One, two, kick out at two. My goodness, what a match. James Lee could be going to that top rope. We could see Touch the Sky. Will we see it? Touch the Sky, but it's blocked. It's blocked. Alex Perez survives. But Alex is in a difficult spot. He's got both members of the Awakening attacking him, and they are going after it, double teaming him. And we got the stroke to the ladder. Oh, my God. And James Lee just an onslaught. Landon Kelly is on the outside. Alex Perez is getting jumped. My goodness. You thought he'd be gang affiliated. But the, by the way, he's getting his ass whooped. But it looks like Landon's coming back into the ring and going straight after James Lee. James Lee sees this and takes care of Landon, planting him into the ground. And Angel, just so cocky. Angel goes for a high fly move and misses. What the hell is James Lee got planned? It doesn't matter. At, like, looks like Landon Kelly thought other like thought otherwise and had plans here. Both members of the Nightmare Connection are bleeding profusely. Even though you may not, even though you may not see it from Alex through that face paint. And Landon Kelly goes for a baseball bat and James Lee just blocks it. You got a reversal. Angel and Alex going back and forth. What's Alex got planned? Alex with a knee strike to Angel. And Landon working on the arm on the outside with another knee strike for me. Like another knee strike from Alex. What's Alex got planned? Alex going to the top rope. The end is nigh. He hits it. He hits it. Do we have new champs? New champs. One, two. Kick out at 2.999. I thought that was it. Take a shot every time you hear me go ham for the 2.999. Alex with the blackout in the corner. Can he get it? Oh, my God. Alex is putting on the onslaught to Angel here. And it looks like the momentum has shifted to the Nightmare Connection. Angel going back on the top rope. What's Alex again? In his nigh. He goes for the pin. One. Two, 
Three, we got new champions! New champions! Nightmare Connection are your new SCW Tag Team Champions. What a match! What a hell of a match. What an opening contest early. My word. As you see, the, the Awakening was on top, but it was Alex Perez picking up the dub. The Nightmare Connection strikes first blood. Ladies and gentlemen, we got new tag champs. That is how you open up a pay-per-view, folks. And ladies and gentlemen, I don't know. Honestly, chat, I don't know what was going through hit James Lee's head. Maybe he thought his tag team partner was going to kick out because the end is nigh. I'm going to say to this, folks, that hasn't put away many of folks as of late, but that still is a devastating move. But Angel was out on Dream Street, and Alex Perez, the death-proof legend himself, comes out on top for the Nightmare Connection. It is a great sight to see. Am I rooting for the Nightmare Connection now? I, I have no idea. But, man, what a contest. What a contest, folks. And the chat realizing, call him Mr. Landon Two Belts. Landon Kelly is your new SCW Tag Team Champion and your current SCW Television Champion. What a hell of a contest. Speaking of a hell of a contest, folks, you want to talk about bad blood? We got it. Isaac Murphy faces Lil Bill in a first blood match. Both these men have had ups and downs, but as I remember, Isaac Murphy started this, honestly, between the two. Isaac Murphy bringing it to Bill, Bill never saying die, also challenging Isaac Murphy to a first blood match here tonight. But will he come out on top with this, or will he be the first man bleeding under the boot of the natural? Let's head down to the ring. All hail as the natural makes his appearance. The following contest is an extreme rules match. Making his way to the ring from Greensboro, North Carolina, weighing in at 266 pounds, the natural Isaac Murphy. Isaac Murphy has been on a tear since accepting Giza into his heart, becoming Giza's favorite son. Coming down the ring now, looking to put his opponents that are beneath him in their rightful place, and that means under his heel. Will we see a checkmate or a road kick ending this match for Bill, as if you remember, the last time these two faced each other, Isaac Murphy proceeded to keep Bill down, and it was a checkmate that busted Bill wide open to keep him down as he got the one, two, three. But this one won't have pinfalls, folks. You must make your opponent bleed to win this match. And we see the chat is not accepting of Isaac Murphy, but that's why he does the things that he does, folks. He doesn't want your acceptance. He wants you to only acknowledge him. But speaking of acknowledgement, here he comes. And his opponent from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 159 pounds, the strong man, Little Bill. Oh, the bad man from the wild lands of North Carolina makes his way down to the ring. 
the little bill hive is in the building representing everything that is right and true about scw and bill getting the crowd on his side as he has a tall task against a very tall man isaac murphy but the fans are ready they want to see that light-skinned man get his comeuppance against Bill. And the ref is ringing the bell. And here we go. And Bill coming out strong early. Taking Isaac down. Now, here's the thing, folks. Bill is a known high flyer. What does he have to do to make sure Isaac Murphy gets busted open? Isaac has a plenty of plethora of moves at his disposal that will do head damage. My, the possibly cause cuts but I can't say that for Bill and I'm a little scared for him because his offense doesn't call for that and Isaac get into the corner what the hell is this are we going to see a road kick early road kick already out of nowhere road kick out of nowhere but Bill was not busted open Bill isn't bleeding, but Isaac working on Bill as he much. Because you got to say, say what you want about Isaac. He is very cunning in the ring. And I only have to, I only have to say Giza is showing him the way. And Isaac Murphy keeping Bill down. And it looks Bill is down early. As I realized, both of these men from North Carolina. But only one. Oh, my God. The trap. Bill hits the trap. But Bill... Keeping Isaac off of his feet. He hits the trap, but he has to do more to get Isaac to bleed, folks. And Bill going to the top rope. Oh, nice splash from Bill. And Bill keeps going for these, these high-flying maneuvers, which are great to keep Isaac down. But what will that do to get him to win this match? He has to make Isaac bleed. And now Bill going to the outside. What's he thinking? Oh, I think Bill heard me. I think Bill heard me. He's no, he's got to do more. So he's breaking the chair to Isaac Murphy, and Isaac gets hit. Isaac gets hit by Bill in the chair, and Bill just setting that chair up in the corner. Oh, moonsault missed by Bill. And Isaac neckbreaker. Bill looks to be taken off of his feet, and Isaac looks to has come back, swinging the momentum back into his favor. You hear the roaring boos from the crowd, folks. It seems like no one respects Isaac Murphy, but you all indeed will still have to acknowledge him, especially if he makes the favorite little Bill here bleed today. Oh, what a chest chop, Jesus Christ. And Isaac... The practitioner with those strikes. Big man showing big moves. Keeping Bill down and keeping the crowd against him. But Bill not having any of that, Bill. And Isaac throws Bill into the corner. What's Isaac got planned here? And Isaac just goes for those knee strikes to the gut. Taking the momentum out of Bill early. What's Isaac got planned here? And Isaac... Oh, knee strike to the face. See, that's the stuff I'm talking about, folks. Isaac has the move set to take Bill out and to make him bleed. And Bill does not. But Bill thinking outside of the box early. And what's Isaac doing? Isaac! Oh, my God, no! Oh, my God, Isaac! Power bombs Bill outside of the ring. Good Lord. Isaac, do you not have respect for your fellow man? Even if he's a wild man. Oh, chair shot. My goodness. And then Isaac puts the chair back into the corner. And Bill is down. Bill is down, folks. Come on, Bill. You got to get up. You can't take this from Isaac Murphy. And what a, what a block. What a block from Bill. And Bill... He's got to get the momentum back on his side. What's Bill doing here? Bill going back on the outside. What's he going to grab? He's grabbing another weapon. And he got a kendo stick. And Isaac just says nah to that. Isaac with the chop. What's Isaac got planned here? Oh, my God. Backdrop onto the, to the guardrail. My goodness. And now he's got the kendo stick to Bill. 
Oh my god, Bill! Bill! Holy hell, what happened? Bill! Bill wins the match! What happened? I didn't even see it! But the ref calls it as he sees blood trickling from the head of Isaac Murphy! Bill wins your match, ladies and gentlemen! What a showing from Bill! Let's go, Bill! What a hell of a showing! Bill picks up the W, making the natural bleed. Oh my god! We, I didn't think it was going to go that way, folks. The way that match was going, Isaac Murphy had all the momentum, but all it takes is one shot, and Bill proved it. This is why you do not deny the bad man from the wild lands. Let's go. What a contest, folks. Speaking of contest, now, ladies and gentlemen, we are looking towards a match that has never been done in SCW history. This match is called Syndicate Strong Style Match. The way you win this match is not be a pinfall. It is only via knockout or submission. Both men are tough bastards. But only one man will stand tall in this match having either make the other man snap or sleep. But folks, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I am very excited for this match. I'm, it's Leo Simmons versus Ray Rush of the Nightmare Connection. Will the Nightmare Connection get another victory here tonight? Let's head down to the ring. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. Making his way to the ring from New Orleans, Louisiana. Weighing in at 271 pounds, Hacksaw Leo Simmons. Hacksaw Leo Simmons is the ever impressive newcomer here in SCW. Has had a bit of a has had a bit of a shaky starts as of late, and it's only because of the nightmare connection. Leo Simmons faced off against Kevin Youngblood in a match that impressed everyone. However, Kevin Youngblood did pick up a victory. Then, in a tag match with his partner, Jay Omega, he was interrupted by Ray Rush, overturning Ray Rush. And that is how this match got started. Our GM, Ian Jacobs, has preceded this match as both these big men will be going slapping meat. And speaking of which, we had the returning Ray Rush. Helsinki, Finland, weighing in at 275 pounds, the Reaper, Ray Rush. Folks, the returning Ray Rush made his way back to interfere in a tag match with the Nightmare Connection of Kevin Youngblood and Alex Perez going up against J. Omega and Leo Simmons. Leo Simmons saw this countered what Ray Rush had and the referee called the match due to the interference which Ray which Leo Simmons and Jay Omega had picked up the victory but these two men have been wanting to fight since Ray Rush's return and I gotta tell you folks both these men this match is gonna be one hell of a match because again the only way you can win this match is via submission or you knock the hell out of your opponent and here we go the ref rings the match early here we go. And Ray Rush taking it to Leo Simmons in the corner early. Both these men. And we've seen Ray Rush again being him and Jay Omega being some of the toughest men in SCW. And it looks like Leo Simmons is coming after that secondary, like coming after that title of toughest SOB in SCW. And Ray Rush isn't having any of that. He's here to remind folks that he is the one, the nightmare strong hand, as you see it, with a crazy revolving back, 
back elbow shot. And he's keeping Leo Simmons down. As one great man once said, big meaty men slapping meat, and they are going at it early. What's Leo Rush tries to go? Scott, excuse me, Leo Simmons goes up to the top rope and misses. And folks, we're going to have a hell of a contest here, folks. Again, one of these men will have to make their opponent either tap out or be put to sleep via knockout. And both these men, very technical style wrestlers. Of course, Ray Rush with a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and MMA background. But Leo Simmons, a former Olympian wrestler, here taking on Ray Rush. This fight is going to be insane. And you see Ray Rush is mounting his opponent. Going for those shots early. I got to tell you, chat, I don't know if we're going to have a submission here. I think we're just going to have a top. Uh, somebody's going to be knocked out. But here we go. I, as I say this, Ray Rush going for the submission early. And it looks like Leo pops out. Leo going for that neck breaker. Folks, I, I got to tell you, both men have impressed me coming into this match. But only one man can win. And what's Ray Rush got planned in the corner? It doesn't matter. Leo Simmons with the block. And he continues to block here. Both these, both these big men taking each other on. I'm going to say, I've been super impressed with Leo Simmons, but also you have to you have to realize this folks. Ray Rush has only lost one match since joining up with the Nightmare Connection. One match. And that was due to outside interference from J Omega. And you see Leo Simmons now trapping that leg, going for the submission. But Ray Rush gets out of it. Ray Rush tries to go for a clothesline and misses. And what's this? Leo Simmons plants Ray Rush to the ground. I'm really surprised this match stayed in the ring. Oh, we got another back elbow shot. What's Ray Rush got planned? Snake Eyes into the corner. And what's Ray Rush doing now? When he knee strike in the corner. And it looks like... It looks like Leo Simmons is busted open. Looks like he's busted open. And wow, what's Ray Rush doing? Ray Rush going into the outside, getting weapons. We have been seeing weapons being used all night. And here comes the chair. Oh, chair shot. Chair shot delivered. And he's, and he, is he down? But he's not down. Ray Rush looking to make sure if he's out. But he's letting Leo Simmons back up. I don't know if this is a sign of respect or stupidity from Ray Rush. And Leo Simmons battling back. Leo Simmons battling back, folks. And again, thank you all for all tuning in to SCW Syndicate Championship Wrestling as we see the Fred Hampton driver delivered. The Fred Hampton driver was delivered and Leo Simmons takes the chair and puts it in his own corner. The Fred Hampton driver delivered. Could we see that Operation Doomsday del coming up near now? Oh, no. Wait. And we got Ray Rush is bleeding. Oh, my God. And Ray Rush avoids what could have been all night, but he couldn't avoid this. Operation Doomsday. He's out. Leo Simmons is your winner. Hey, yo. Here is your winner. What a victory. Leo Simmons picks up the victory, knocking out his opponent. He was done. In the corner, Ray Rush tried to avoid the Super Operation Doomsday, but only got hit with the, a regular version of the Operation Doomsday putting him out. He got slept, folks. Sheesh. 
I don't know who had it in the chat saying that the Nightmare Connection might clean up, but right now they are 1-1 one one with only one more opportunity to have a winning record here on Cradle to the Grave. What a match. The chat's already saying the ref didn't check on him. The ref said, nah, he's already out. My goodness. What a match. And speaking of a match... We have our tables match against Hannibal Hatch. Hannibal Hatcher will be facing against the Doctor, Antonio Hurt. This match is, is a very peculiar one because the only way, reason why this match got started out, Isaac Murphy put a hit out on Antonio Hurt, and he wants Hannibal to take out that hit. The high-flying hitman also took the card to challenge him, and the best way to keep the Doctor away is is by prescribing some tables because this here also proves that Antonio Hurt cannot win this match via submission and Hannibal knows that. So let's see if the good doctor can pull out the victory or Hannibal adds another man to his hit list. The following contest is a tables match. Making his way to the ring from Queens, New York. Weighing in at 248 pounds, Hannibal Harnage Hatcher. Hannibal Harnage Hatcher, 3H, has come out here today with looking like a man with a plan, trying to take out his current contract. And that would be the one and only, the Doctor, Antonio Hurt. The last time we seen these two in the ring, the Doctor picked up the victory via submission. However, Hannibal is out here on a contract, but is he, is he also a man of revenge? We shall see. But right now, everyone stand up for the super tough Doctor. Get those STD chants started. From Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Weighing in at 238 pounds, Dr. Antonio Hunt. The doctor is in, making his way down to the arena. And folks, this man, I got to tell you, will be champion here in SCW sooner rather than later. But till he gets that opportunity, he has to take out. He has to dish out and prescribe some pain to the high-flying hitman known as Hannibal Hatcher. This is the crowd chants STD, STD, STD standing for super tough doctor, the surgical assassin, Dr. Antonio Hurt. Now, this is a particular match that the doctor is unfamiliar with as he has to put his opponent through a table, which, again... A man who has to deal with operating tables isn't used to putting someone through it, but things can change, folks. Hannibal telling the doctor, both men decked out in sweet gear. And Hannibal going out early. Is he going for that cutter? Gets the doctor off his feet with that cutter early. Will we see him put, put Hannibal, like will he see, will we see Hannibal put the doctor through a table with that cutter or will we see the doctor get Hannibal out of here? Only time can tell when we see Hannibal reversal early. Oh, what a punch from Hannibal. 3-H out here, but the doctor not getting, it's like, but the doctor, we may see malpractice later this evening. Who knows? All eyes on the doctor and seeing that Hannibal trying to take the doctor off his feet early, taking the momentum. Now, the best way to win the table match, folks, obviously, is putting your opponent through the table, but you want to wear them down. And it looks like Hannibal's doing all of that now, planning the doctor. And the doctor might be on Dream Street, folks. The doctor tries to go for a leg sweep, misses. Hannibal had that scouted. Oh, my God! Was that a Destino from Hannibal? 
Hannibal out here busting down all the moves, folks. And Hannibal bouncing off that. Oh, tries to go for a DDT and misses. The doctor has his wits about him. And the doctor now. Oh, never mind. Hannibal with the reversal. And Hannibal, again, showing off these quick maneuvers, quick strikes. Off the doctor early. But I'm going to need to remind you, folks, we saw this last time. Hannibal put pressure on the doctor. And the doctor, using his wits and keeping Hannibal down, winning the match, tried off the submission. And here goes those arm shots. Winning off the submission or wearing down his opponent. But he is in a different type of match now, as you only can win this match by putting your opponent through a table. And looks like the doctor is getting in the table first. And, and Hannibal answering that by sliding the table into the ring. The doctor trying to set up the table. And Hannibal not having that. And Hannibal! Quick strikes from Hannibal. And this is how he's going to end up winning this match. The doctor, the doctor trying to trying to get those maneuvers over. But you look, like I said before, you're not going to be able to win this match by submission. And the doctor, with all those surgical and technical maneuvers, while they may slow down Hannibal, that is not going to get him to win this match. And you see the doctor doing what he can to slow down Hannibal. And I don't know what the doctor had planned there. He got out of the ring just to step out, I guess to take a breather. He steps right back in, and what's Hannibal got planned? Oh, it doesn't matter, the Doctor reverses! Plants him right on the table. The Doctor picking up the table and putting Hannibal down on the ground, and now he's setting up the table. Will this match be over as soon as it started? Hannibal might be in little trouble here. Is the Doctor, or will we see Hannibal? No. Looks like the doctor, doctor wiggles out of that. The doctor going up to the middle rope here. Oh, nice knee drop. Again, these maneuvers are going to keep Hannibal down, but not put him through that table. And as I say this, the doctor may have plans, and he may be trying to put Hannibal through that table. With the quick strikes. Oh, what a kick. And Hannibal trying for the... Flippity flop and, and end up getting the flop. And now the doctor throwing Hannibal on that table. Hasn't worked around, but now he's got Hannibal. He's trying to set Hannibal up. And working him down by hurting that arm. And I got to tell you, he can't go for the chalk outline if he can't get a grip on the doctor. And the doctor setting up Hannibal again. Oh, just bashing him on that table. Hannibal trying to get back the momentum back into his corner. And keeping the doctor down. And we got a plant. Hannibal taking it to the doctor with these palm strikes. Oh my god, can he plant him? No. I thought he was planning, I thought he was planning to plant him through the table. And Hannibal now going looking going to the top row. Is he gonna take to the sky? No, he's telling the doctor to get up. Oh, Hurricane Rana. Again, what a maneuver to do what he can to stop him. And Hannibal, oh! What a Pele kick. And now Hannibal setting up the doctor. Oh, and the doctor reversed it. Oh, what a clothesline to the outside. Clothesline to the outside. And the doctor has Hannibal off his feet. The doctor throwing Hannibal back in the ring. Saying if he wants to end this match, he's going to do this professionally. And the doctor. Oh, what a snapdragon. What a, what a snap to the knee. Another knee. He's going after the leg of Hannibal here. What does the doctor have planned? And the doctor setting up what could be that punt to the leg to the arm and he misses Hannibal gets out of the way oh my god what's the doctor got planned doesn't matter Hannibal squeaks out of it Hannibal squeaks out of it and Hannibal trying to take the doctor to that table 
to the table that's already been set up. The doctor gets out of it. The doctor goes for a clothesline, misses, and Hannibal goes for another strike here. Misses that. The doctor. What's the doctor got planned? Snapdragon suplex. What's the doctor got planned? Oh, the doctor. Oh, going, working that arm of Hannibal. Again, Hannibal can't get that grip if his arm isn't 100% healthy. What's Hannibal got planned? Hannibal could be putting the doctor through the table and no. The doctor. Antonio Hurt gets out of it. Oh, what a knee strike. He taking, the, taking Hannibal out. What a jab from Hannibal. And Hannibal setting the doctor up into the corner. Looking to take out that knee. Oh, and Hannibal. Hannibal now trying to get the momentum back on his side. And we look like the doc looks like the doctor busted open Hannibal. Oh, and Hannibal puts the doctor through the table. Hannibal, you're a winner. Hannibal collects a debt and adds another one to the hit list by putting his opponent through the table with a vicious forearm strike powerful Here enough to put winner, the doctor Hannibal through. Hornage Hatcher. Hannibal Harnage Hatcher, 3H, picks up the dub here at Cradle to the Grave. And folks, it looks like his contract has been fulfilled. Man, crazy elbow shot from Hannibal Hatcher. Crazy match so far. And chat, I gotta tell you, how you feeling about this card so far, folks? Because we're getting towards the end here. We're getting towards the end here, folks. And we got stuff going on. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope you're really enjoying, but we're getting closer to this match now. The main event is certainly around the corner, but before we get to that, we have to uh, let certain things die. As Kevin Youngblood will be facing J. Omega in a last man standing match. These two hate each other. Absolutely despise each other. They have not liked each other since the early days of WGW. And Kevin Youngblood himself has come out and said he's never liked J. Omega but always respected his in-ring ability. However, the times have changed and that respect has gone out the window. J Omega has the same keeps the same energy against Kevin Youngblood and saying that respect is gone out of the window because you ne it's never been there. So now these two will end their blood feud here today in a last man standing match. Here we go. As you see, the lights are dim. Everyone has their camera phones out. As the Nightmare Connections cult leader walks out to the ring. The Nightmare Connection have been are, are one and one on the evening with the Nightmare Connection tag team picking up a victory, becoming your new SCW tag team champions. While unfortunately, Ray Rush did not pick up the victory against Leo Simmons in the first ever syndicate strongman, strong style match. Excuse me. But now, Kevin Youngblood is not looking to win this match. He is looking to put an end to this rivalry, a long time feud against his bitter rival, the Tim God, Jay Omega. Both these men 
have had storied careers here in SCW. Both men have been champions. Both men have earned the respect of the SCW faithful and the men in the in the boys in the back. But both men want to do the one thing that they have yet to do here, and that is put an end to the other. But again, this will be the time to put up or shut up. The way you win this match, folks, is you have to stay, keep your opponent down for a count of 10 and be the obviously the last man standing. As you see, Kevin Youngblood standing in the ring now waiting watching and I gotta say folks this is not gonna be a match this is going to be a fight that will end up being a funeral for one of these men and I can't call it but I'm gonna do my damnedest to call the match And speaking of which, the dipset captain himself, the Tim God, Jay Omega, is going to make his way down the ring. Maybe looking, maybe for the last time. And his opponent from New York, weighing in at 236 pounds, Jay Omega. Jay Omega has never been the one I have ever seen smile here in SCW. This man has been about his business since day one, and that business is good. One time SCW world champion, two time SCW tag team champion, this man has had a storied career, and in that story has been a nightmare that he looks to end once and for all. Will he get that chance? As of late, it hasn't looked good for the dipset captain, as Kevin Youngblood has had an answer to everything that J. Omega has thrown at him. J. Omega has ran out and attacked him and put the nightmare connection cult leader in his place however Kevin Youngblood always gets the last laugh but will this finally be the last anything of Kevin Youngblood if he does not wake up to that 10 count we shall see folks this is going to be a war as the chat just said, someone's got to get their die on. And I been waiting, baby. Kevin is ready. Jay Omega's ready. The ref's looking to ring that bell, and here we go. Oh, my God. Zookeeper early. Holy sh Holy shit. Dude. This match could be over early. Zookeeper out of nowhere, but Jay Omega breaking up the ref's count and going straight after Kevin Youngblood. And I got to tell you, folks, Jay Omega is not the one to play with. Oh, my God. Kevin is beside himself as Jay Omega come out and hits the Zookeeper early. Putting Kevin out. Oh, my gracious. It's like J. Omega has been waiting for this day for a millennia. And he did not come to play, folks. Elbow drop from J. Omega. It has been one-sided this entire time. Will Kevin actually get up and fight? Or will J. put away the nightmare connection leader and kevin youngblood 
gets out of the ring, gets out of Dodge early. Kevin looking to go for a weapon. Jay Omega breaks that up. And the ref's on the outside. Jay Omega not letting Kevin run as he's bringing the pain. Holy mother. <laughs> I have not seen Kevin Youngblood get dominated like this in a very long time. The last time I seen Kevin Youngblood get dominated like this, it was against former management leader. The man with the purple fro years ago as that man proceeded to win the SCW title off then the WGW title off of Kevin Youngblood and the rest count is up to six. Seven. Eight. Kevin gets up at eight and Jay gets back out of the ring. Jay Omega and Kevin going for those legs early. My goodness. Kevin going back under the ring. Looking for some type of weapon. Doesn't find anything because Jay Omega stomps him out. And oh, oh, what a knee strike from Kevin Youngblood. Finally, Kevin wakes up and Kevin still looking for a weapon of some sort. And Jay is not having any of that, nor is Kevin by this looks of it. But Kevin, oh, rushing leg sweep to the outside. Kevin wants a weapon early, but he's not getting it. And Jay's not allowing him. Folks, this has been an ass whooping so far. One sided. What's Kevin got? What's Kevin got playing? Oh my God! Defel DVD to the outside. And now Kevin going back under for that weapon. Can he finally get it? And he gets one. It's a kendo stick. And he's going crazy against Jay Omega. Beating him up with that kendo stick. Breaks. It shatters. Jesus. Kevin finally gets his hand on a weapon and puts it to good use. As Kevin attacks Jay Omega. And it looks like the tables have turned here. Is what's Kevin got turned? The momentum finally in Kevin o Kevin Youngblood's. Oh my god, what is he doing? Pop up from the outside! Jesus! There is no love loss between these two. And oh my god, what is this? Sharpshooter to the outside! Sharpshooter to the outside, ladies and gentlemen. Jay Omega has tapped out every single time he's been put in that sharpshooter. He avoids the sharpshooter like anything. But luckily for him, this is not the match that that maneuver will do Kevin Youngblood justice. As Jay powers out of the sharpshooter. Jay throws him into the what? Into the ref? Kevin. As we see the folks at the Spanish announce table getting ready to move. Kevin just throwing Jay, Jay Omega out and about. And Kevin taunting Jay Omega. That is probably the last thing you need to do with Jay Omega on the outside. Jay, you're giving him time to breathe, Kevin. I don't understand why you're not attacking. But Kevin also taking the opportunity to catch his own breath. And Jay Omega gets back into the ring. Kevin goes for a grapple here. What's Kevin got planned? Doesn't matter. Jay Omega gets out of it. And Jay Omega with his strikes. Jay Omega always with the quick strikes here in the corner. It's Jay Omega got planned. Jay Omega taking out the leg of Kevin Youngblood. And Kevin, oh, Jay, Tim's to the chest. Tim's to the chest. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is your co-main event of the evening. And he got, now ref count starts his count. Jay wants Kevin to get up as he celebrates, his, he celebrates his taunts here. Ref count is up to four, five, six, seven, eight. And Kevin finally gets up at eight. And Kevin bringing those vicious strikes of his own. What's he got planned? Oh, super kick to the face. And Jay could be out. And Kevin, now, taunting is on the other foot. Three. As Kevin stalks Jay. Five. 
Refs counts up to five, six, seven. Jay Omega gets up at seven, and Kevin gets out of the ring looking for another weapon by chance. And Jay Omega blocks that, but Kevin showing that IQ, blocking him. Throwing, oh, throws Jay right into the seal steps. Throwing him into the, in, to symbol the seal steps. Nice arm, nice arm breaker by Kevin here. And Kevin going back in the ring, keeping Jay down, staying far away from your opponent as much as possible. You don't want him to get up and to perform a maneuver to keep you down. But again, these two, ladies and gentlemen, no love loss here. The rest count is up to seven. Eight. And Jay Omega gets up at eight, and the ref gets back into the ring, and Kevin goes back to the outside. What's this? Oh, my God. Is that the Northern Lights? Northern Lights buster delivered to Jay Omega on the outside, and Jay is out. Two, three. Ref's count is up to three, and Kevin is back in the ring. Five. Ladies and gentlemen, we have seen a zookeeper early we also seen one sharpshooter rest count is up to seven eight i don't jay omega gets up the ref gets back into the ring what's jay got planned kevin waiting for jay to get back in the ring and kevin strikes what's kevin got planned it doesn't matter kevin was looking to probably go for that dream crusher doesn't get it tries to go for that power bomb doesn't get that either jay omega powers out of it and Jay goes for a spear and gets blocked. DDT by Kevin. Ref starts up his count at one. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is delivered in ways I thought it wasn't going to. What a hell of an opening. Thank you all for tuning in. My word. Ref's count is up to six. Will that DDT keep Jay Omega down? Ref's count is up to eight and Jay rolls up. And Kevin rolls out of the ring. Going for another weapon, it seems. Will he get one? He does. He gets another kendo stick. But a chest chop stops him. And Jay Omega not letting Kevin get his hands on another kendo stick. My goodness. Jay Omega. Jay Omega throwing Kevin back into the ring. And now he has the kendo stick. What's Jay got planned? And then lets the ref count. I thought Jay was just going to beat the unholy hell out of Kevin Youngblood with that kendo stick. But it looks like he's taking his time. Ref's count is up to five. Six. Seven. Eight. Kevin could be down. Ref's count is up to nine. And Jay Omega is your winner. What a lackluster finish to a great opening contest. Unless there's something else that kept Kevin Youngblood down that we're not seeing. Jay Omega picks up the victory. My goodness. Jay Omega picks up the victory against his longtime foe. But I got to tell you, this may not be the end to their rivalry, folks. Again, it looked like something may have happened to keep Kevin Youngblood down that may have happened on the outside, but we won't know until later this evening once the once medical staff looks at Kevin Youngblood. But he stays down and the match has been called. The match has been called. But ladies and gentlemen, now it is time for our main event of the evening. Three stages of hell for the SCW World Championship. The Vibe God, Sebastian, will be taking on Golden Joe West 
in three matches. The first match in these three stages of hell. The first match was picked by Joe West. The second match was picked by Sebastian. And the third West, the third match, excuse me, was picked by our GM Ian Jacobs. The first match in this contest is a Duval street fight. You can it's no no holds barred, anything goes. Pinfalls can happen on the outside. This is the chance to see who gets the first victory. The second match will be a heaven in a cell match. A match picked by Sebastian, which is a normal hell in a cell match, but with a spin on it, as Sebastian puts it. Because only heavenly things come from him. And if we need a third match in this contest, it will be a ladder match. TLC, if you will. And the winner of that match will be your new or current SCW World Champion. Let's head down to the ring. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match and is for the World And we see Sebastian, the vibe god himself, walking down to the ring. This is another rivalry in the school of hard knocks. As Sebastian looking to take away the one thing that Joe holds dear, and that is the SCW World Championship. The vibe god has been a thorn in Joe's side for months here in SCW. However, it has been mind game after mind game Sebastian has put in the way of our SCW champion. But will tonight be the night we see a new era here in SCW as you see Sebastian, the vibe god himself, hyping himself up, getting the crowd behind him. doing the poses getting ready and for those who don't know ladies and gentlemen this is a contest that even even though Sebastian says otherwise this is the final rubber match between these two men Sebastian has had a winning record over his opponent but Joe has come back with a vengeance but as you see, as the screen goes gold, it's a sight to behold. Straight from the trailer parks of Duval, it is Golden Joe West. Joe West coming down to defend that SCW championship against a longtime rival. And he's looking to put this man away as soon as possible. He doesn't want this to go to a third match. He wants a sweep, as he says, so he can get home and party with the rest of the Florida Georgia, like Florida Georgia folks in attendance back home in Duval County. As you see, the man with the plan is here in SCW. Golden Joe will do what he can to keep that title around his waist but he is going up against a man who has had his number for the longest time. But let's get down to the ring for our proper announcements. As you see, that is what it's all for, folks. The SCW World Wrestling Championship. Introducing the challenger from West Hollywood, California, 
weighing in at 240 pounds, Sebastian. And introducing the champion from Jacksonville, Florida, weighing in at 213 pounds. He is the World Wrestling Champion, Goldman Joe West. Joe West looking at that belt, what could be the final time he could be champion. And folks, I'm going to let you know now, I will be taking breaks after each match. Because I just have to set up everything properly. I want to keep the emergent going. At the same time, I'm going to shut up. And we are going to watch one hell of a contest between the top two stars here in SCW. As Sebastian goes up against Joe West. The ref ringing that bell. And here we go. Again, this is a Duval street fight. No pin pinfalls can be counted anywhere. There is no count outs. Anything goes as you see Joe going for a moonsault to go for a pitfall early. One only gets a one count. Golden Joe going back up to the top rope. What's he got planned? Oh! Misspoke and missed. But it's all right. It looks like Sebastian. Sebastian gets the man off of his feet. And Sebastian, again, for him, quick strike to the back of the neck. My, my goodness. Sebastian going for the power submission early. This is some sort of the lion tamer. And Joe powers out of that. Sebastian pulling in his bag early, it seems, against Joe West. He's going to have to be. These two men know each other so well that they have scouted each other. They know each other's maneuvers. But they know if they get hit, good boot from Sebastian. If they get hit by each other's finishers, they've kicked out before. But this is an endurance competition. So you want to stay away. Nice clothesline from Sebastian. You want to stay away from each other's maneuvers. That is one white trash bash or a clothesline from Mount Olympus. And you see Joe might be bleeding early. And Sebastian trying to go for a submission and maneuver here. And Joe pops out. And Joe is just bleeding a cut above his eye early. Thinking he's, you would think he's John Moxley bleeding in this match like this Sebastian looks like a corner whip strike and what's Sebastian no oh, another clothesline the vibe god with a vibe check of a clothesline there to Joe West and folks like I said this is an endurance match you don't know how far this is gonna go it can all be all three matches and Sebastian's going for a submission Sebastian's going for a submission. Is he trying to get Joe to tap out? Is Sebastian trying to get that victory early? It looks like Joe could be powering out, showing that strength and powerbombing Sebastian. But again, this match could be over in two matches or it'll be over in three. And the biggest thing you would have to do is keep wits about you and keep your momentum. Oh, nice knee strike. Not just keep that momentum going, but also try to keep your endurance high as it will be needed for these other matches. Because, guys, let's say both men pick up a win and we see another clothesline from Sebastian. Let's say both men pick up a win in each other's matches. That third match, both men will be tired as hell trying to climb a ladder and get a world heavyweight championship down, excuse me, world championship down from that, from the Mount Olympus, as Sebastian says. But only time will tell. It looks like Sebastian is trying to keep the momentum in his favor. And Sebastian goes for a pinfall on the outside. One, two, kick out at two. Folks, I, this, these two have had a storied rivalry for a long time. And both men have been incredible here in SCW. But Joe West is your champion, and he wants to stay your champion. But a lot of people wouldn't mind seeing that belt. Come on, oh my God! Sledgehammer to the midsection of Sebastian. Sebastian hits, hits Joe West with a boot, and now Sebastian picks up that sledgehammer, and he's going to work. Both these men 
showing no mercy towards the other, like towards the other with that sledgehammer. Those sledgehammer shots. What Sebastian got planned here? Sebastian with the turnbuckle strike. And oh, nice. Nice European uppercut. And goes for pinfall. One, two. Oh, kick out at two. Sebastian is beside himself. He thought he put Joe away. Sebastian going to do whatever he can. Oh, close line from Mount Olympus. There it is. There it is. Close line from Mount Olympus. We got a pinfall. One, two. Oh, 2.99999. My goodness. Sebastian thought he put away Joe with that close line from Mount Olympus. And you hear the crowd saying fight forever. And Joe with the reversal. Neckbreaker. Joe has kicked out of the Mount, like Joe, Joe has kicked out of the clothesline from Mount Olympus several times. And Joe goes for a chair. Joe has known to kick out of that. And what is this? Oh my God, neckbreaker. Oh, I thought he was going to land on the chair there for a moment. Joe has kicked out of that clothesline several times as Sebastian has kicked out of that white trash bash. But again, you are not just going to win this match. You have to at least win two. And those man taking those maneuvers will take a toll on you. And so will chair shots. My goodness. Sebastian taking it to Joe with these chair shots after chair shot. My God. Oh. You see that chair is all bent up to high hell. Sebastian trying to keep Joe down. Oh, we got a roll up. We got a roll up. The ref, one, two, the oh, kick out at two. Joe beat Sebastian with a roll up of his own in that Iron Man match at Civil War. That is a hell of a callback from Sebastian. And now Joe West trying to get, keep the momentum on his side. And now Joe Throwing Sebastian in the ring. What's Joe got playing? Oh, my God. Joe could be setting up for the Mr. Grand Slam. Looks like he's going to get it. Will he get it? One. Mr. Grand Slam. It has been hit. And he goes for the pinfall. One. Two. Kick out at two. And Joe going to the outside. Look, probably looking for another weapon. Which is funny to me because we will see, continue to see more weapons in there. We got a, Joe's got a kindle stick of his own. Going straight for Sebastian, going for his head. My goodness, attacking him with that kindle stick. And Sebastian quickly jabs that kindle stick out of Joe's hand. And Joe with the quick strikes. Joe with a fist of golden fury. Going ham right now. Oh, oh my God. White trash bash, modified white trash bash. And he goes for the pinfall. One, two, three, oh, 2 .9999. my goodness, Sebastian kicks out. Joe is beside himself, and Joe going for those knee strikes to keep Sebastian down. As you hear the chants from the crowd going both these guys, these men are in our main event for a reason. As they are going ham, and Joe with those strikes. Again, the knee strikes to the body, to the body, slowing that midsection down. And Sebastian is burnt beside himself in that turnbuckle. What is this? Oh, what a hammer fist from Joe. And Joe doing what he can to keep that momentum down. Looks like he's going to put Sebastian back in the corner. And back to these knee strikes. Back to these knee strikes. And Sebastian finally turning around. Getting rid of Joe. And Joe throws Sebastian on the outside. Again, pinfalls can happen on the outside, folks. As you saw earlier, Sebastian tried to roll up Joe. And they call back to their previous match, at previous Iron Man match at Civil War. And Joe stretching out that arm. Joe stretching out that arm and knee strike from Sebastian. Keeping Joe down and Sebastian trying to pace himself away from Joe. And Sebastian 
picking put Joe up on his shoulders. What's Sebastian got planned here? Oh, my God. Oh! What a maneuver to the outside to the guardrail. And Joe trying to get his own maneuvers back. And Joe, could he be doing the same thing? No. Oh, the apron. And what's Joe got planned? Joe with the leg stretch on the legs here. And he goes for the pinfall. One, two. Kick out at two. Joe telling the ref to speed up the counts as they got another match right after this. Oh, goes off of Mount Olympus. Goes off of Mount Olympus. Well, Sebastian gets the first victory. One, two. Th oh, 2.9999. He doesn't. Sebastian, a clothesline for Mount Olympus out of nowhere to Joe. And Joe powers out of it like the champ that he is. Sebastian is beside himself because he doesn't know what he needs to do to keep Joe down. But he goes after the kendo stick and he breaks it over Joe's head. My God, maybe will that keep Joe down? Sebastian throws Joe into the corner. Oh, check up from the neck up with that European uppercut out of the corner. And another clothesline from Mount Olympus. A third one. And we got a pinfall. One, two, three. Oh, my God. Folks, Joe is not going to die in this Duval street fight. Duval till I die, Joe says, as he keeps going. And Joe showing you why he is the SCW champion by still taking the fight to Sebastian. And Sebastian trying to figure out how the hell he's going to keep him down. You see clothesline after clothesline after clothesline delivered. Sebastian's got to wonder what the hell he's got to do to keep Joe down. The boy from the trailer park may have seen the last bit. He's going for a pinfall. One, two, three. Sebastian is your winner. And ladies and gentlemen, give me a moment as we will set up for the second match. I'm going to pause the stream and we will be right back.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. And what the hell? Oh, Sebastian, look at it ended early. We are in the second stage of hell or heaven in a cell. One, two, kick out at two. My goodness, we are back as the second match in this three stages of hell is kicked off. Joe West is down one. Will we see a new champion here crowned? As Sebastian is now in heaven in a cell and we got a pinfall. One, kick out at one. Joe had his cut cleaned up before the match began. And Joe is now on the outside. Again, if you're just now tuning in, you are watching the main event of the evening. The second match of this three stages of hell between Joe West and Sebastian for the SCW World Championship. And Sebastian picks up the victory after hitting, after Joe West survived three clotheslines from Mount Olympus, but he couldn't survive those repeated clotheslines to keep Joe down on the outside. And now Joe is down one nothing. Sebastian is in the lead. If Sebastian wins this match, he is your new SCW champion, and we got stuff to the outside. Like I said, this is three stages of hell, and we are in our second stage. It is heaven in a cell, and it looks like Sebastian and Joe are on the outside, and both these men are not staying in the ring. They are going to the top of the cage because if they got to end it, they're going to end it somewhere fantastic. And here we go. Both men on top of the cage. And the crowd chanting, please don't die to both men. And Joe fighting back. He has to fight back in this match. Otherwise, he could lose that SCW title. And God knows that's the last thing he wants as he's putting the boots to Sebastian on the top of the cell. My goodness, what a match. Oh! And Joe setting Sebastian up. It could be a white trash bash. Oh, white trash bash. Oh, got him. White trash bash on the out on the top of the cage. Joe trying to think of what he could do to keep Sebastian out. And what's Joe got planned? Oh. Joe looking to end. Could possibly looking to keep his belt and end the career of Sebastian. Oh my God, both these men on the top of the cage. Jesus. Joe out here doing work. And Joe pushing Sebastian onto the, end, uh, the edge of the cage. That is a dangerous place to be, folks. Again, Joe down one nothing. And Sebastian is bringing his is Bastion bringing his groove back here, getting the momentum back in the side, trying to keep the momentum in his favor, and he can take away Joe's SCW World Championship as he's pushing Joe to his limits. But this is these two are not strange bedfellows. They have been in hell of a contest before, and we got a DDT to Joe. By hell of a DDT by Sebastian. Joe could be going through. Oh, my God. Joe with the reversal. Thank God. Oh, I don't want to see any of these men get put through these. Oh, my God. Catalina Wine Mixer. Catalina Wine Mixer delivered to Sebastian. And Sebastian might be out. And Joe just attacking the head of Sebastian. Oh, my God. Sebastian getting bloodied. And Joe's just continuously stomping on the chest of Sebastian here. Oh, my gracious. Joe is firmly keeping the momentum on his side. On top of this cage. Oh, my God. Another white trash bash for measure. Is Sebastian out? No, Sebastian with the reversal. Oh, nice clothesline from Sebastian. Lice Lariat from Sebastian. And Sebastian gets it gets reversed. What's Joe got planned here? Oh my god! I am I, folks, I am terrified because one of these men could fall through. 
that top of that cage. And I just hope they have insurance because that is going to be a detriment to your health as Joe looks to pick up a win here to tie it up 1-1. And Joe, oh my God. Joe is taking it to Sebastian, but you can't get a pinfall up on the top of that cage. My, my word. Joe it could be a man of being, like, could be super desperate. And what Sebastian got planned here? Oh my God, power bomb! Oh my God, another one. Will we see a third? Yes, and Joe. Joe could be out of it. And Joe blocks whatever Sebastian had planned. And, Joe, and Sebastian, both both these men back and forth. Both these men going back and forth. Go! Oh. Nice. Oh my God. Sebastian setting up for another clothesline from Mount Olympus. Velvet. Oh! Another. Oh my gracious. Just these two are taking it to each other on the top of this cage. But someone's going to end up going through this if they're not careful. Will we see the end of Joe's, Joe West's reign as SCW champion? Or will he tie this match up and take it to our third contest? Only time can tell. But one of these men, I am terrified, folks. Someone could fall off this cage. And it could be curtains for either one. Because, oh, nice Larry again. From Sebastian. Sebastian started off this contest hot. Almost getting the pinfall victory against Joe. Oh, white trash bash again. That's three white trash bashes Sebastian has taken. On top of this cage. And we got a Catalina wine mixer. Sebastian may be out of it. My goodness. My God. What a main event. Joe is a desperate man. And he needs to do what he can to get to tie this match up. So they can at least make it to that TLC match. Oh, kick to the back by Joe. So they can at least make it to that TLC match. And keep it even. Because if Joe loses this, he loses that SCW title that he desperately wants to keep. But he's got to do a good job. Sebastian is on his grind here. Both these men are being on the top of the cage. I am in fear of what may happen. Because someone could go through that cage, through the top of the cage. And I got to tell you, folks, I don't know if we have insurance to cover it. I know I just said it before, but I'm just telling you off rip that this <laughs> is a detriment to their health. I don't know why Sebastian called this a heaven in a cell match. Ain't no heaven to be seen in no cells, my man. My goodness. Joe looking to wear down his opponent. Looking to wear down Joe West. Joe West is looking to wear down Sebastian on the top of that cage. But again, I feel as though the first person to be put through that cage is going to be the loser of this competition. Another white trash bash. That is four now, folks. Count them four. Four white trash bashes delivered to Sebastian here, and he could be out on Dream Street. Oh, my God. Super kick after super kick to delivered to Sebastian. My word. Thank you all for tuning in. You are watching the SCW Cradle to the Grave main event as Joe West takes on Sebastian in three stages of hell for the SCW World Championship. And Sebastian with a knee strike of his own.
Sebastian is now up one nothing against against Joe West for that SCW title, and he could win. And Joe West almost falls off the cage. Joe West again almost falls off the cage, and Joe falls off the cage. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh, oh, oh my God! And Sebastian climbing back up the cage. And Joe, oh my God. I don't know what's in the water in Duval County, but sheesh. This man pops back up quicker than a hiccup to go after Sebastian. And Joe looking to take out Sebastian on his own. These two don't even want to fight in the center of the cage, in the center of the ring. They're fighting on the top of the cage. And someone's gonna be put through that box. Someone's gonna be put through the top of the cage, folks. Holy mother. I don't even know how Joe is walking. And Sebastian going for those repeated clotheslines that put Joe away the first time. And Sebastian. Oh my goodness. Folks, I am still scared. And Sebastian, oh my god, what is this? Oh, okay. Oh. Snap suplex and the cage doesn't give out. Thank the Lord. I'm going to say this I'm going to say this now folks, Sebastian is a sick man. He's a sick man who wants to do nothing but hurt Joe West and take his Oh my god, close on Joe falls through the cage again. Joe falls through the cage again and Joe could be out. That could be the end of Joe West's streak as SCW champion. One, two, three. Your winner and new SCW world champion, the Vibe God, Sebastian. Mother of dog. What a contest. Just all of this is wild. All of it, all of it. I don't know. Winner, and still world wrestling champion, Sebastian. Sebastian is your new SCW world champion. And he walks away from cradle to the grave as champion. Your golden god is here. And it's a new era. The vibe era. And only one man can make sure you have passed the vibe check. And his name is Sebastian. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in to SCW Syndicate Championship Wrestling's Cradle to the Grave. Twitch pay-per-view. We normally stream every Saturday, 1 p.m. Eastern, 12 Central. Today was a special day. We will see you next weekend. I am Shaggy Black for the boys in the back in Syndicate Championship Wrestling. Happy Halloween. Stay safe. Thank you. Have a good one.